When the country is falling out of love with beer, and you've become the brand people love to hate. If Budweiser is the king of beers, then Bud Light is the feudal peasant covered in donkey shit of beers. Logic would tell you that you're doomed. So, we rejected that reality and substituted our own, creating a fantasy world where everyone loves Bud Light. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly dilly! This medieval world where we could say and do anything allowed us to treat each piece of creative as a new episode and introduce new characters and storylines designed to put us back in culture in a big way. You know what? I fell in love with the commercial. I'm going to make it a thing dilly now. Dilly dilly! Dilly dilly! Have you seen the uh, Bud Light commercial where they are bringing gifts to the king? And every time they bring Bud Light, they uh, say dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. <laughs> dilly dilly. 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 If you happen to be going to the Masters this year, whatever you do, do not scream dilly dilly. Bud Light's not having it. They're sending 1,000 dilly dilly t-shirts to Georgia. Hell, a city even embraced it as a rallying cry. Philly, Philly. You want Philly, Philly? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Here we go. And it's Trey Burton who throws caught. Falls. Touchdown. Hey, Bud Light. Free Bud Light. You can hear folks cheering Free here. Free Bud Light. Free Bud Light. Free Bud Light. Our world got so big. It got the attention of HBO's Game of Thrones, who we partnered with to sacrifice one of our characters during the Super Bowl. Most importantly, we got Bud Light into the hands of a whole new generation of drinkers. 